Hi, hope you're doing good. So today I'm gonna be going through all of like the most recent fantasies that are on my TBR, romanticies that are on my TBR. Okay, so first up is the book that has basically inspired me to make this video and that is Mirror of Malice by T. Harlow. This book, like the cover is so stunning. It's immediately made me want to read it, even though like I can't at the moment, I'm in the middle of so many books. The cover just looks like nostalgic in a really weird way, like so summery and so fairy tale esque and apparently this entire series is gonna be a bunch of retellings of like famous fairy tales. It's a Snow White retelling and I think it's meant to have pirates in it. I don't really fully understand how that comes into it. Maybe the main guy is a pirate but basically it's the whole classic story kind of giving Snow White and the Huntsman vibes away the like girl like trapped in her own castle by her stepmom who's obsessed with like this massive mirror. I think it might be enchanted apples. She's meant to be called like an apple loving stepmother which is funny. I'm assuming he's a pirate but like I don't want to say that and then that's not true but he's like meant to be like all of evil something like that. He comes in, he steals the stepmother's mirror and then he also steals her which then automatically is giving dark romance fantasy vibes yeah and then he steals her away it basically says something like she wants to con the biggest con artist so that's why i'm assuming then that he must be like a pirate thief sort of thing she wants to pretend that she's kind of like on his side like she's like yeah like i want to be with you right now like she wants to be taken but actually she wants to try and trick him into like kind of giving her some leniency and then being able to escape and i'm assuming going back to try and grab her kingdom for her own it sounds like it's made so fun and each of the books in the series are going to be standalones of different what do you call them of different fairy tales by the way i completely forgot to say this is gonna be a mixture of like adult ya like a whole mixture of different things and genres and everything because it's just everything that i've seen recently that i want to read if that makes sense anyways the next one i'm not sure what the series is actually called kindred's curse series i know the first one's called spark of the ever flame and i've been seeing this everywhere so funnily enough the first person that i saw this from was my darling desi which like she's the best like iconic just like aesthetic youtuber basically she recommends this and she just properly properly persuades me on it this series just sounds and feels nostalgic and i don't even know how or where i'm getting that from it feels like something like in from the 2010s that sort of vibe and like i'm trying to think as to why i feel that way like i never read any fantasies in 2010s it's meant to be quite a big series and it's also meant to have smut in it at some point but i think that comes in the third book that's why i've heard so it, that just feels like a really cool like really long slow burn it's giving the same vibes as guild and throne of glass where you've got to wait for it i had to go rewatch darling desi's video because like i feel like the synopsis wasn't selling me on it whereas what she said did so basically what she said was there are some gods and i think they were kind of in control of everything i don't really know what happened to them but basically they gave birth to like a whole bunch of descendants and these descendants are kind of like like sort of more so like if you stab them with a knife like they can't die there's a whole bunch of kingdoms and basically in these kingdoms i'm assuming the descendants kind of rule over everyone there's basically descendants and mortals i think in some kingdoms they get along but some kingdoms they don't i don't really know what was going on the main girl that we follow is a mortal and her mother is basically a healer and her mother ends up dying and she ends up then taking up her place in the palace where all what the descendants are she ends up being a healer there and she wants to try and figure out like what happened to her mom what's going on there's this like king and he has a son and this son ends up showing like a lot of interest in her and it which is sounding quite dodgy like there's also lots of rebels that are trying to like form together and trying to overthrow the descendants and she also has her like has friends with the rebels as well there's a murder mystery she's trying to solve she might have like a little bit of a love interest kind of be split between two worlds like it just sounds so drama filled that prince that i was just talking about he actually has a reputation for killing mortals so that's why it's weird because he's being nice to her next up is bride by ali hazelwood i actually have the physical book but that's at uni so i don't have it on me right now but basically this sounds good so i remember when i first got this i was a bit like suspicious of it because my sister gave it like a 3.5 or something like that basically she didn't give it a five star so she wasn't saying it was a bad book she really enjoyed it but she just didn't give it a five star so then i was like great like i've just bought this book and it's not gonna be five star so basically i was just a bit worried about how i was gonna feel about it then it was the fact that like ali hazelwood hasn't done like fated mates before and i was like is she gonna do it like good because i read loads of fated mates and monster romances as well but then the other day I came across something some sort of like social media platform where it gave us a quote about it and i was just like wait like that sounds like all the monster romances that i read like that sounds really hot and really good so now i'm kind of like actually really excited to read it and i need to find a time when i'm not in a massive reading slump because of exams like i'm just waiting for that time when exams are over and i can actually just read and read and read and read i think the main girls are a vampire and the main guy is meant to be a werewolf and that is genuinely all i know all i know is it's like ali hayes wood i love love hypothesis i'm just hoping that will be just a 
is good. Next is a book I'm just kind of really interested in because of how it's been spoken about, okay? So if I just explain, so it's called The Unmaking of June Farrow by Adrienne Young, I think. Obviously, this person brought out the Fable duology, I think, like Fable and Namesake, and everyone loved them, everyone was raving about them, so she'd already established herself. They bring out this book in 2023. Genuinely, nothing comes from it. I do not hear about it once. I don't see it anywhere until, for some reason, it pops up on my Goodreads, and I was like, oh, okay, like, I'll have a bit of a look on that. And then, that, that must have been, that must have been a couple months ago now that I saw that, and I was like, okay, that actually sounds really good. Then recently, I've been seeing it come up everywhere. Everyone has started reading it, and everyone has been giving it five stars. It's just crazy. I'm just so interested into how someone who's a well-established author could bring out a book, and then it just stays, it just stays stagnant for ages, and then all of a sudden it blows up. This one's really cool. It's giving practical magic vibes, because, like, all the women in the family are cursed. But yeah, so I don't know what the curse is, but all the women in her family always are cursed, okay? And they start feeling, like, the signs. They start, like, hearing things, like, voices, wind chimes, whatever. And then one time, a door opens up to her, and she's like, what the hell am I seeing right now? All I know, I think, is that her mum goes missing at some point, and then when her nan dies, she then is left a whole bunch of, like, cryptic clues that she has to try and solve. I'm assuming to either solve where her mum's gone or solve the family curse. And apparently, it's just something about if you solve the family curse, you have to sacrifice finding love. So I'm like, what does that mean? The door appears again, and this time, she tries it she can touch it she can walk through it so she ends up embarking on this journey through this door i'm assuming into a completely different world which sounds so good then getting involved in a star-crossed love it just sounds so drama filled and i've been looking at the reviews and people were literally saying plot twist after plot twist after plot twist it's full of drama next is where the dark stands still by ab horanak i don't know if i'm pronouncing that correctly but this cover again looks so stunning why does the guy in it look like look like rowan oh my god do you know what this actually reminds me so much of what's that a Soul to Keep by Opal Rain. That book, by the way, I really, really, really recommend. If all those cozy fantasy readers decided to go on like one massive smutty binge fest, I genuinely think they'd absolutely die of those books because it's literally a cozy fantasy, okay? But make it monster romance and make it really smutty. Like, so I genuinely think it's one of the best books I've read this year purely from like, just like uniqueness. I've never, ever, ever read a smutty monster romance that actually has a good world building, a good fantasy world world and a, and a really unique one as well like I'm genuinely in awe of that series I do actually need to go and read some more but I haven't heard good things about the romance in the second one so I am kind of thinking about not reading that one it is kind of frustrating about that series because it's like now that I love the world it's kind of upsetting that if I don't like another couple in that series then I can't read more from the world like it's it's upsetting why am I telling you this oh yeah because it reminds me of this let me just read it to you raising a small village in the spirit wood Liska Radost knows that magic is monstrous and it's practitioner monsters. After Liska unleashes her own powers with devastating consequences, she's caught by the demon warden of the wood, the Lesky, who offers her a bargain, one year of servitude in exchange for a wish. So that's where I'm getting a soul to take, or is it soul to keep by Opie Ray? Whisked away to his crumbling manor, again that's now giving a soul to keep. Liska soon discovers the sinister roots of their bargain, and if she wants to survive the year and return home, she must unravel her host's spool of secrets and face the ghosts of his past. Those who enter the wood do not always return again that's giving such a soul to keep i'm assuming this is more of a ya version and i'm assuming it's yeah it's romance i was gonna say yeah everyone just seems to be loving it i just keep seeing five stars and four stars everywhere oh my god i just have a massive weird moment i completely forgot it was may like this year's gone by so quick that's pretty scary katie roberts new book in the deal of the demon series just came out recently and i'm very excited to read it so it's called the succubus is his prize i don't know if i said that right so this series is really cool basically there's like in this like world like other dimension there is all these kingdoms within it and they're all constantly at war time and each of them have different monsters there's a kraken succubus a little dragon thingy a constant at each other's throats until one of the demons then decides to make up this deal where if he finds them all human each who have willingly come here would you then stop fighting because then you can find an heir and basically if you get with a human then your heir is like ultimately stronger this i think is the fourth one in the series i love the first two but this one is so up my street basically all of the women that get taken they have to be willingly taken so like for one reason or another like they want to leave that world but they're not allowed to be forced into mating they're not allowed to be forced into anything they don't want to do they could spend their seven years here and just leave straight after they're like they're allowed to do that but obviously like it's romances so they end up deciding to stay basically this one is about a girl who i think is running from guilt i don't know what she did so she's like seeing this bargain as a way to like repent this poor succubus is kind of like thinking like wow like we can become friends it, like if anything 
think maybe more and this girl's coming here thinking no i'm gonna be a servant you give me a task and i'm gonna fulfill it like i need to repent i think it's a girl which is then making me think how is the whole minting thing gonna work but i'm excited i love casey roberts monster romance it's like they're genuinely like gold yeah so i'm very excited it's like really short and i genuinely forgot how short her books are and i'm kind of sad that they are that short so and the one that i'm most excited for is the next one that's coming out i genuinely think that's gonna be my all-time favorite book ever next is witches guys with fake dating a demon so i've been seeing these sort of like cozy fantasy but like almost like monster romances like absolutely everywhere i've never had an inkling to read them but obviously i've just spoken about a soul to key and i'm starting to think now like what like if maybe like i might like them i think i want to give it a go this one looks like a very fun place to start if you have any other recommendations for cozy like monster romances but like with like actual smut in then please like let me know so i can give them all a go so this one is basically about this girl who's a witch i think she's like a baker or something like that and it sounds so cute and she ends up trying to do a spell to make some flour or something like that like a i don't know what she's trying to do flour but she tries to do it and then she ends up summoning i think she tried to summon flour but instead she ends up summoning this demon okay and this demon is meant to be a big bad demon he had such like a massive like he's quite notorious for being big and bad until something happens and then he loses that and then for some reason to make him big and bad again he's meant to then take this girl's soul but like how is that making him big and bad i don't get it i don't know this is what i mean though because it's like because it's not a dark romance it's too fluffy and too unrealistic in my eyes it's on my tbr it sounds really cute if there's any better ones out there please could you let me know so i could try and give them a look okay and then i think lastly because the next one i was gonna recommend i've already spoken about in my dark romance dark pirate romance um recommendations i still haven't gotten to it but i still want to like include it and that's like whispers of the deep i think this is like a bunch of standalones in a series and it's all about these mermen this time instead of like mermaids which is like what i usually read so it sounds really exciting and i think it's about this scientist girl who gets dragged down underneath i think so they can learn from her but the cover just looks so good that i'm just like it can't look like that and then not be a good book because the art in it is insane so just briefly i wanted to mention that because the second one came out recently and i just i really do want to read them so bad and then lastly i kind of have sort of spoken about this but the one that i really wanted to read in this series has just come out blood on the tide is in the crimson sales series by casey roberts this one just sounds good so this is actually like a sapphic pirate romance which i've never ever read i wanted to so bad and i think she's done a couple now casey roberts has but yeah this is a more fully fledged book rather than her other ones and so i think i really 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 want to give this one a go so basically it's about this vampire i think her like jewels or like family heirlooms or something was like stolen from her so she's out on this boat i think she's gonna try and grab them back so it's a bit of like a fast pace like trying to steal something back sort of vibe and then she comes across this selkie this selkie she um apparently has lost her skin which i have no idea what that means but she wants it back they strike a deal where the vampire wants the selkie to help her find her family heirlooms like it'd be a little bit of a guide in this world and she's like yeah of course i'll do it as long as you help me get my skin back and they're like yeah cool i think the vampire is meant to be like a little bit mean it just sounds so good and it's dark romance because it's crazy roberts okay so those are all of the books i think i got under 10 i don't think i hit 10 um but those are all the books that i'm really excited to read at the moment that are romances that have sort of come out new or i've heard very recently about them okay so i really hope that you found some good recommendations i genuinely have included everything like i think i've done normal adult romances i've done ya i've done ones that are more predominantly fantasy i've done dark romances i've done monster romances like i really do hope i've given you a good selection of books thank you so much for watching please if you've seen any of these recommendations and you think oh wow like this reminds me of this book please like let me know so yeah thank you so much for watching i really hope that you've enjoyed and i will see you very very soon Bye bye